Hi, this is Eddie Millett for TCS Nabba Tab. We're in the salubrious surroundings of the Corpus Playroom basement for a new thing we're doing. We find an important Cambridge person and find, find out what's going on. I'm with Sarah Mercer, who's a third year Asenak at Newnham. She's done loads of stuff for the show choir, for musicals, even some burlesque dancing, I think. Yeah, just a bit of that. <laughs> and Sarah is uh, making her first foray into directing with the Trojan Women by Euripides this week. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. Now, just to quickly talk about the burlesque thing, <laughs> I find this, this is fantastic. This is really <laughs> Can you tell? He keeps going back to it. Yeah, I keep, I keep going back to that because, you know, uh, you know what can I say? Um, how, how, did, how did you get into that? How did that happen? I got in contact with the directors of burlesque and I knew that their auditions had just happened and I said, is there any chance I can come on audition for you? And they said yes. Um, so that's how I ended up in, in Claire Sellers with very few, very few clothes on, which was great. I wasn't lucky enough to see it. Oh, it's a shame it you was, missed out. It was dance, it was theatre, it was acting as well. It was Yeah, all... I mean, my act was, I did the, have you seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Yeah. You know the doll on the music box? Oh, yeah. I did that. Wow. Um, so when she, so she's singing and she's doing the whole sort of doll dance, and um, but we turned it into a kind of warped um, boy playing with his sister's doll gets cross with it, oh it's kind of teasing, and then he took my clothes off. And it was right. it was really quite upsetting. But I, I've been told that it was that it was funny and it was it was good. And he was meant to be your sister, brother. Yes, well That's... he was uh, I was his sister's doll. Um okay, was but... was the plan. I mean it might be um Balaska performing at Tit Hall um in May week. So and I'm performing with them again, so maybe your viewers oh, might get a chance to see it again. But oh, I might be doing something it. completely different. So um Obviously, this is a very, very old play, um, and what, what, I was wondering, what, what was it in particular that made you, you're, you're an Asnak, this isn't really your <laughs> area yeah, of... Well out of my field of expertise. But you're, you know, you're, you've definitely proven yourself to be a completely normal and well-adjusted social oh, human being. thank you. That's so, very kind of you. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> you know, just going to clear up some stereotypes about Asnaks yes. there. We don't all own swords. I'm going to say that now. I personally don't own one, so... They're but, probably going to kill me now. Okay. <laughs> betrayed, my, betrayed my subject. The trade secrets are out. Mm. Um, but for this play, I mean, you've mentioned that it was uh, the, the idea of women on the stage is obviously a huge thing for you. And what was it that drew you to this play in particular? And tragedy? Yeah, I mean, women was the, the and the important role of women was a huge part in why we chose the piece. And it means that we've the talent that we've managed to attract is really, I mean, frightening. The, 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 the actresses we've got are really, really talented. Because I mean, apart from the fact that there aren't that many roles in Cambridge. Um, there aren't, I mean, there aren't that many presentations of women in war. It's quite a important and unlooked at theme. Yeah, and it's it's, but it's also inc an incredibly important one. I mean, there's a speech in the play that talks about how women are always on the periphery of war, and they're, you know, they're not fighting, but they are always damaged by it. In fact, in some ways, more than the men, because they can't take an active role. They just, you know, wait for the lots to be cast, the result to be decided, and then whatever's going to happen happens to them, which is mm. also a really interesting aspect of the play because a, lot, a big part of it is the fact that these women have no voice, they have no say in, in, in what happens to them in the future. They, and throughout the course of the play, they lose their identity, they lose their voice, they lose any control they have over their own lives, which is obviously really frightening and something mm. that this play uncomfortably looks at and that's something I'm, I should make obvious now anyone coming to see it and everyone should come and see it because it's a really fantastic piece of theatre um, needs to understand that they're not going to come and enjoy a really great story they're going to feel very uncomfortable they're going to be very upset by what they see but what we're hoping is that they leave kind of having their thinking changed and being forced to confront some really major issues that are as current today as they were when Euripides wrote it Absolutely, and that's in some ways the beauty of Greek tragedy mm -hmm. because although we, it's quite hard to put it on in its original context. A lot of the themes, you know, they speak through the through the millennia, um, and what you've done some bit of a gen, bit of gender bending in terms of the original cast. I think because in obviously um, the Talthybius, Talthybius the, the Herald, yes, he's uh, he's originally a man, and um, we thought about it quite seriously before we decided to cast a woman in the part because I have a real problem with people deciding to change a gender without having really thought it through so that was something we really thought seriously about but the fact that Talthybius is torn between both sides anyway because he's aware that what's being done to these women is wrong because he's a very moral person and he spent 
for 10 years of the Trojan War, sort of going between them, he has a relationship with these women. Mm. Um, but throw into the mix the fact that she's a woman and you get the whole aspect of betrayal of gender, the fact that these women are raped and will continue to be raped and how uncomfortable she is with that adds a whole other level to her character and it works really well. I mean, we're aided by the, the fact that the girl playing Tothibius is is very good. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So you see that journey and that kind of the need always to maintain her professionalism, but her inability to do so is a really beautiful aspect of the play. Well, sorry, Mercer. Um, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you. This has been TCS Now the Tab with me, Eddie Millett. Thank you.